Hi, thanks for buying an iCapture CCTV kit from Channel Safety Systems. The purpose of this demonstration is to show you how simple the kit is to install and set up. I'll show you a basic installation, more advanced features are shown in the instruction manual. I'll assume you've already selected the type of camera you require for your specific installation. However, if you need any advice, please call us on 0845 884 7000. You'll need to choose a suitable location for your DVR unit. As this stores the images, it should be in a secure location. Your kit will come with the following items. DVR, including hard drive, four cameras, four-way power supply and plug, four shotgun cables, instruction manual, mouse, remote control and DVR power supply. We'll now look at each of these items in turn. The DVR is the heart of your system. It comes fitted with a hard drive already. On the front we have basic controls, a menu entry button, a power light and a light which blinks when you're recording. Included in the box will be a mouse, power supply and remote control. On the rear of the unit we have eight audio inputs which are rarely used, eight video inputs, each one relates to up to eight channels, one for each camera, video output, audio output, a VGA socket for your screen, a LAN socket for a network, USB socket, power supply in, power switch on and off, and various alarms and RS-485 controls. Your camera will come with pre-made ends including a, a BNC for the video and a power socket for the 12 volt input. Each camera will come with a pre-made tail which has a power socket and a BNC output which will eventually go back to your DVR which in most cases will be by the 20 meter shotgun cable. Our cables are made of pure copper unlike some of the cheaper ones which are made of a mixture of copper and aluminium. This gives maximum video and power to the cameras. On each end you'll have a power connector and a BNC connector. It is important you get these the right way round as the power connectors as you can see are male and female the male plugs into the camera end. The manual gives fully comprehensive guidance on how to use the system including the complete setup and some of the more advanced functions. We'll now move on to setting up a very basic system. So to install your eye capture system mount the camera in its chosen location plug it into the shotgun cable making sure you get the right connection at the right end run the shotgun cable through the building to the DVR location apply power to the main socket of the four-way power supply and the main socket of the DVR once you've run your shotgun cable you can then connect your DVR power supply screen and I've plugged the camera into input 1 and now connect the camera power supply. I've turned power onto all of the power supplies and we'll now switch on the DVR. I've connected the screen and you get the system initializing message. In a moment the camera will become live. Once the screen has initialised, you can then check the alignment of your cameras. Once you've done this, you can then enter the main menu by simply clicking the right button on the mouse. This brings up the menu icon. Click on the main menu icon and this brings up the subheadings. Other functions include setting up a privacy zone or zones in the display icon. Simply click on the privacy zone tab, switch the privacy zone on, select one of four areas, set it up and you can then move a box to blank off any areas you don't want people to see. Once you've done that, apply it, OK it and you can see 
the box we've just put on is now blanked off. If you're using motion detection you may wish to blank off areas such as trees or roads which will trigger spurious recordings. Simply go into the alarm tab, the area for the camera you wish to set up, all the areas highlighted in red will record, areas which are not highlighted won't record when they detect motion. Simply save it by right clicking and applying it. OK. That's now set up. We also recommend that you set up the recording resolution in the record mainstream sub tab and as you can see here for channel 1 we set up resolution D1 4 frames per second and a bit rate of 224. This is a standard setting it's what we recommend to give you maximum duration on your hard disk. I plug the mouse into the USB socket and we'll now run through the basic setup of our system. As this is an 8 channel DVR you'll see the 8 channels showed on the first screen. As we've only got one camera connected only input 1 or channel 1 is showing an input from the camera. From the main menu box the main tab we wish to use is record. You choose the channel you choose whether you want it to record or not you choose the pack duration I would suggest 15 minutes that is the maximum amount of time the unit will record in the event of a, a motion detection and pre-record allows the unit to record slightly before any motion detection alarm next thing we do is you choose when we want to record in this setup the top line is all highlighted and that will record 24 hours a day should you wish to record only when motion is detected, highlight the times of the day you wish to record in and deactivate the areas of normal record. Once you've set your time scales, apply the savings, click OK and that's that finished. You may wish to enter a username and password. Simply go to the system tab, the user sub tab enable the users wish to edit, click the edit, click on the username, select a username I shall just blank this one out for a second and re-enter it using the keypad enter the name, enable the password, select a password it has to be six digits, enter it, confirm it Oops, wrong one. Enter. Apply it. OK it. Done. This concludes the basic setup of your eye capture system. For more advanced functions, please refer to the manual. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us on 0845 884 7000. Thank you.